censoring the internet. I think that's what it is. It's not a misinformation bill. It is the censoring of the internet. The legislation itself, that's my uh, trick to go and read it up, hill down dull. I want to know what the definition of misinformation mm. is. I want to know who uh, is going to be uh, policing that, how it works, how the complaint system works. What say you about what they're planning to do? What have you read? It is honestly unbelievable. I mean, the first time they tried to put this bill forward, it received tens of thousands of submissions from concerned public members who just want to have an opinion. There was backlash against this from the whole spectrum of politics. Everyone from your civil liberties councils to your law council to your, the Human Rights Commission even, like, everyone was against it. Us, the ABC. It's it crazy. Was yeah, yeah. We've never, probably never seen something so unifying for the whole of politics in Australia. <laughs> as our opposition to this bill. So they've they've tried to rework it now, but the fundamental flaws are still there. Most foundationally, they have not been able to get around the core issue, which is how on earth do you define misinformation? Correct. Who is going to be the arbiter of what is true and false? They have no answer. They're trying to shift it from ACMA and to the social media companies. The social media companies don't want to be the ones deciding that. Correct. On Meta's website, they say, we as a private company do not want to decide what is and isn't true. That's why they have independent third-party fact-checkers, like the RMIT Fact Lab, well. that hasn't <laughs> published a single thing since Sky News exposed that it was biased against the the voice in August of last year. Oh, so man. this is just absolutely riddled with issues, but the fundamental problem that no legislation will ever be able to overcome is who decides what is the truth. Yeah, hallelujah. Sing it. Well done.